fun. Thanks for dropping me down a hole. Probably died of fall damage. Do you feel we have like quads? We have legs of steel. Or vibranium. Don't hit anything. Okay. Slide. Ah, boy. How are we still alive? Uh. Here we are. The incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old times. Where do I get across? Ah, that makes more sense now. Portal? Huh. Oh. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Just drop it in. There it is. Hold on. There. Good. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Yes. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Great. Talking with the machine that I totally killed yeah. and is so alive. Let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. Oh. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. After that, who knows. I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. I don't like GLaDOS at all. But I think that's the point. Jeez. Soon part of the game is supposed to be killing her. I remember that part. Maybe. I don't know. We killed her once, so maybe we can do it again. Oh. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test. Which involves deadly lasers, and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Oh, guess that water wasn't actually poisonous. I thought it was. Oh, one out twenty-two. Let's see. Oh, derp! I get it. I'm supposed to actually get on the platform, then do it. That makes so much sense. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. I got this, fam. I'll beat them all. 20 seconds apiece. Not really. There were some pretty tough ones. I remember further down the road that were super obnoxious. I'm figuring out how to beat. They killed off Wheatley so early in the game, though. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. A discouragement cube? 
You didn't die. What? My boy. My boy. Oh gosh. Don't get me stuck in a loop. Well, I don't want to destroy it. I love the physics of this game. It's so cool. Okay, redirect. Okay. Oh, I missed. Yeet. Really? Dang it, I can't cheat it. What is that? Do you have to stare at me? You're a scrub. Hmm. So I'm still gonna need a block to get up there. I don't see any of the block. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, so we can kill even though we've gotten smushed. Oh, I'm stupid. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Oh my gosh. She's still salty! I mean, if I was a robot and I got bested by a human and I was supposed to be extremely intelligent, I would be pretty mad too. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. How silly! Chill! Jeez, GLaDOS. No chill. Okay. Okay, let's get up here. Yeet. Do that. Was that? Oh, this you need, we need two. Okay. Uh-huh. Is there going to be another one down here? Am I stuck in here now? No. Yeah, that can actually stop the laser. That's actually pretty funny. Congratulations, not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. Gee, thanks. She's a savage, I swear. Come on, GLaDOS, why are you so salty, man? One moment. 
You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them, so feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Uh, oh. Almost just died. Okay, so we got a brick that falls there. Ha, huh, hiding from your camera. You can't see me. You're gonna John Cena your face. Okay, so I hope we can see it all that. Oh, just a bit more. So what does that do? Ah, alright. Ow! Okay, so that makes that move. Gotcha. So that's, so that's blue. I did that. Oh no 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 no! Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna put blue here. Put the orange one here. So leave this one where this one is. I'll give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. The rude. We haven't even gotten to the blue and to the bouncy and speedy juice. We'll get to that though eventually. Five out of twenty-two. Solid, nice push. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Hmm, hmm. Wait, okay. I get. Oh, I guess so. This is a timing thing. Gotcha. Solid, mate. I do like concepts like that, though. Here's an interesting fact you're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. That's extremely unhealthy though. We're gonna die! We're all gonna die! We're screwed. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass. By myself. Well, I thought you specified I. Okay, so where did this go? Doing. Doing. Dang it. Okay, we gotta reset. Okay, I didn't realize. Okay. Pretty quick. Cool. I like concepts like this, though. These are these kinds of are pretty cool. So then get going, and it should get me all the way there. 
Yep. Doing. And nailed it. This is gonna do something. Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling, and being useless. Oh. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Oh boy. What is it do I need? You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Press the button again. Okay. Come at me, bro. Hit me in the face. Hit me with your best shot! I'll catch you, bro. Oh. How the heck am I supposed to get over there, though? That's a problem. Huh. Remember him. before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. When a robot calls you garbage? <laughs> You're pr it's pretty bad. I'm Did fair, you I know that people oh. with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? <laughs> Stupid. I'm sorry. I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Sure. Nah. Nah, bro. Bro. Oh, hello. Okay. Yeet. Oh, did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. Oh, no. I fizzled that one too. Oh, screw you! Oh, well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. I saw you, bro. I don't remember seeing it before. Nailed it. Okay. Gotcha. So that's one thing. Didn't make it, but anyway, that's fine. If you just don't fall through the lasers, you. Not gonna make it. Dang it. Yoink. Perfection. The test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. Because of that, I'm totally gonna take something with me. Don't take anything with me? Okay. Because you said that. I wonder, is there worth me to take anything with me? I'm curious. That would be funny if there was actually a way to be able to take something with me. I'm trying to see, is there like any objects I can actually physically take with me? It really doesn't look like it, because it was a way to like get the bat to fall down, fly through, and get over here. I just don't think it would have the rage.
Yeah, that's good. There might be like some really obscure way to take that box, but I ain't nobody got time for that. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Oh no, the turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There, if you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. Mm hmm. You son of a gun. I assume this block could not make it through there. Yeah. Oh. Aha. I got you, game. And then you just do this. Gene. Genius! Don't close line by the laser. Open the chamber! Or I might. Chapter 3, the return. Well, I think I'll do that. Something smack over there. Let's go ahead and save. So, we gotta... so, thank you everyone so much for watching this video. Lick subscribe somewhere because I don't care see y'all one day peace out